You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and we have a new familiar face who's been here before, Josh Welper. Josh, welcome. Thank you, sir. Thanks, thanks for, for having me. Thanks for coming back to Greater Brockton. Um, you have a lot of exciting new things happening at the Boys and Girls Club, and you have a whole week to kind of show it off. So yes. maybe talk a little bit about Boys and Girls Club, and then we can kind of walk through the week. That sounds great. So again, thanks for having me. Uh, always a pleasure to be here. Uh, so basically, Boys and Girls Club of America has um, started this initiative years ago called National Boys and Girls Club Week, and it's designed to let the community know all the great things that are happening inside the Boys and Girls Club. Um, so, so as you as you mentioned, we we have put together some pretty exciting events throughout the week. That you know, a couple of them we want our community to be involved in and let them know that they're able to come in and, and take a tour, and as we like to call it, open the door, take the tour, and as we'll get into in a little bit. So. Um, very exciting stuff, uh, and the staff have been really working hard to implement a lot of these things in the different core areas of Boys and Girls Clubs, and you know, Boys and Girls Clubs is, 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 is very important to, uh, and, and all youth agencies are very important to the city, um, and, and we just want to let the community know about the great things the kids are doing, uh, and also the staff members that are working with the kids. Now, it's five days. It's coming up in, in March, not too far around the corner. We'll try not to, well, we'll date it enough because what, what we'll do is we'll run it all the way through the last day. Okay. So people will go. If they missed one day, they can Especially go to the next. But you're kicking it off on Monday the 23rd. Absolutely. Tell so us this, about that. This coming Monday, um, the, the, uh, the, the topic is open the door for education. So one of our core areas in Boys and Girls Club is something that we're very passionate about is education. Mm -hmm. We just... Um, uh, spent a good amount of money on a what we call a high yield STEM learning room, STEM um, technology, si science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, we're able to buy some tables and chairs and some equipment. Um, the incorporate incorporating a little bit of technology um, mm -hmm. with that, including some iPads, um, because you know nowadays a lot of our education is really being brought to technology. But at the same time, we also understand that we have to do things. Uh, if you old school, if you will, I right. guess you know with right. with pen and paper, but also with the computers to get them ready, right? Mm -hmm. So, and then the big the, the fun thing for that day is we're going to do a big game of Jeopardy, Family Feud. We're going to have a lot of great prizes to give out to the kids, and we're just going to promote education uh, well, to be very important. I love STEM, and I usually add a letter to it. I'm on a school committee. Steam, we add yes. A for arts, arts because absolutely. you can't forget about the arts. That's right. Um, now, teens are a big part of the Boys and Girls Club. It, it, it the ages are from what to what. Before so for the teenagers or just in general. the whole program goes from six years old to 18. Okay. Yeah. And there's teens, there's tweens, there's all sorts of names. But the next one, the next day, Tuesday the 24th, you have Open the Door for Teens. What's that Absolutely. all about? Absolutely. So we, in, back in August, we opened up our, um, our brand new recording studio. Right. So one of the things that we're doing is we're going to do, the kids have been working very hard to make a, uh, a mixtape. Mm -hmm. they've, been, they've been doing the production of it. They've been, you know, recording the music, making the beats. And they have now have about 15 to 20 songs on a mixtape. This is going to be our open mic night slash um, mixtape release party. We're going to have food, refreshments. Um, we're gonna, we have a few acts coming in. We have kids that are going to be performing from the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're also going to have a listening piece as well because we want to show off the hard work that the kids have been doing. The second piece to that, so that'll, that'll be... Um, That'll be at uh, 6 o'clock, right? So that, that whole CD release party. Before that, around 4 o'clock, we're going to be doing our Youth of the Year judging. So the mm -hmm. Youth of the Year program is the biggest program inside of Boys and Girls Clubs. We started with um, six of our most uh, deserving leaders, right? So it's very hard to choose. Um, and then we dwindle that down to a final three. And on Tuesday, we have judges coming in from the community um, that the kids have no idea who they are, mm -hmm. you know, so it's real life things as they were going into a job interview or, or, or a college interview. So we want to make it as real life as possible. And we're going to be picking a winner. Um, the cool thing about it is everybody's a winner when it comes to, you know, once they make the top three. Um, we are, we were able to acquire some, some funding for them to go to school with, some mm -hmm. scholarship money. So all of our three finalists will be receiving some scholarship money. Our winner will be passed on to the state level um, to compete against the 42 Boys and Girls Clubs in Massachusetts. Mm, that's great. Um, so last year we were fortunate enough to have one of those top four, uh, have one in the top four from Brockton, the Brockton Boys and Girls Clubs. Um, and this year we're excited to also have, um, you know, Brockton be represented on the state level within Boys and Girls Clubs. There's one more piece to Tuesday. Okay. It's just, you know, the whole Twitter thing that a lot of these teens are, yeah. are really involved in. 
Um, basically, our computers at the club will be set up, and they're going to have a um, Twitter chat set up with mm -hmm. kids all across the country about Boys and Girls Club weeks and how they're opening the door for teens. And it's just going to be a way for them to kind of communicate via Twitter. So it's kind of something neat that we came up with. So now we're going to get to do three events in three minutes, I think, something like that, maybe four. I'm sorry. Uh, no, yeah, no, 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 no problem. One big one there, um, so. the, the Open the Door for Services and Leadership is on Wednesday the 25th. You're going to launch the F Little Free Libraries program, which our students at Southeastern are involved That's right. in. They made um, them. I'm on the school committee That's there. Great. And you got a, the Torch Club, and there's going to be a club, you're doing a club service project. Absolutely. But the big event, just so we don't miss it, Please. Thursday the 26th, Open the Door, Take the Tour, 4.30 to 6.30, and you have a new CEO. Yes, we're going to invite the whole community, you know, parents, board members, community partners, anybody who wants to come in. And, you know, if you heard something negative or positive about the Boys and Girls Club, please, we invite you to come in, um, take a tour, come see the facility. You know, looking at it from the outside, it's just, it, it's very different when you come in and it, it kind of opens up and it's very colorful and the kids have a great time. 4.30 to 5.30, there's going to be tours, some light refreshments. At 5.30, we're going to head up to the teen center. We're going to have it set up, um, you know, theater style. Derek Heim, our new CEO, is coming on board. He's going to say a few words, probably hear from our board president, um, just thanking everybody to be there. And then, again, some more refreshments. Uh, we've got some, some hors d'oeuvres, as they, you know, uh, that the cook is, is working very hard on. Um, she'll be working hard on next week. So, And then at 5.30, if any of you guys are running late, you still come on in between 5.30 and 6, 5.45 after, you know, the speaking uh, we'll still give some more tours um, we'll kind of show you what the things things that we've been doing at the boys and girls club and then capping off the whole week you would talk and open the door for healthy lifestyles um, Absolutely. it's not all about pop tarts and 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 soda and everything like that there's it looks like the, you got cooking dancing Sports absolutely. and fitness, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Just, uh, you know, another key core area is healthy living, 60 minutes of physical activity. We teamed up with um, Signature Healthcare to do a cooking class on that Friday um, and, and going to continue to do the dance and offer that 60 minutes. Well, besides all the good staff there, you also utilize volunteers. Absolutely. So um, if you're interested in helping out kids, I'm assuming you could come in during any of these activities and get in touch with yes. some of you people. There's we, checks to go through and all of that absolutely. stuff, but you, you, yeah. need, you need that extra help. We, you know, we live off volunteers. There's nothing better and greater than the heart of a volunteer. Um, if anybody's interested in volunteering, uh, Mondays at 6 o'clock we do a volunteer orientation, answer any questions, fill out any paperwork, and try to work out a schedule. Whether it's one day a week for one hour or three days a week, we'll cater to you. Okay, and uh, give us your phone number and your website. Absolutely. So uh, www.bgcbrockton.org, 508-584-5209. Uh, uh, my name is Josh, um, and I'd be more than happy to help anybody with any questions. Perfect, Josh. So I'm going to recap real quick. We get less than a minute. We have uh, National Boys and Girls Club Week. Starts Monday, March 23rd, goes through Friday, March 27th. We have education, teen events, Service and leadership, open the door, take the tour, meet the new CEO, Derek Heim, and healthy lifestyles. So there's something for everybody all that week over at the Boys and Girls Club. You guys do great work. You. Glad you're here to promote it, and we'll, we'll take some video as well. Thanks for having us. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Good right. to see you. You too. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.